What's up internet? Welcome to my channel once again. I'm Manish from rebellionrider.com. Topic of today's tutorial is constants in PL SQL. As I have already done a tutorial on variables in PL SQL, so I thought why not make a tutorial on constants as well since they play a very important role in programming. So without wasting much of your time, let's start the tutorial. Like several other programming languages, the constant in PL SQL is a user defined identifier whose value remains unchanged throughout the program. Like variables in PL SQL, constants also need to be declared prior to their use and you can only declare them into declaration section of your PL SQL block. PL SQL has its own way of declaring a constant. To learn how to declare a constant in PL SQL, let's quickly take a look at the syntax. And here we are. Here is our syntax. First you need to give a valid name to your constant followed by keyword constant. That indicates the declaration of a constant in your program. Then you have to specify the data type and data width for your constant, followed by the assignment operator and the value which you want to assign to your constant. Note here, you must initialize a constant at its declaration. Yes, you have to initialize your constant at the time of its creation in declaration section of your PL SQL block. You cannot initialize a constant anywhere else. That said, let's come to the SQL developer and do some examples. First example will demonstrate you how to declare and initialize a constant. This is a simple example of constant declaration and initialization. Here in the declaration section, I have declared a constant v underscore pi and initialize it with the approximate value of pi. In the execution section, we have our DBMS output statement which is displaying the value stored into our constant. Let's execute and see the result. And here is our result. This is the proper way of declaring and initializing a constant in PL SQL. Okay, next let's see the improper way of declaring and initializing a constant. In the beginning of this tutorial, I said that you must initialize a constant at its declaration. Not doing so will raise an error. Let's see what does that mean. Let's modify this code and see. This time I simply declared a constant in declaration section and didn't initialize it. Rather I initialized this constant in our execution section. This type of declaration and initialization is legally accepted with variables but when it comes to constant in PL SQL this is not accepted by the compiler. This means there will be an error if we will execute this code. Let's execute this code and see. As I said, there is an error. Hope this made the concept of declaring and initializing a constant clear to you. Don't worry, this tutorial isn't finished yet. We have two more attributes of PL SQL constant to discuss, which are default and not null. Let's start with the default keyword. You can use default keyword instead of assignment operator to initialize the constant in PL SQL. Let's do an example and see how to initialize a constant using default keyword. But before that, let's close this script output and make some space so that you people can see things clearly. Okay, done. Same code, just this time I used keyword default instead of assignment operator for initializing the constant. Next attribute is not null. Using this attribute, you can impose not null constant while declaring constants as well as variables. This will prevent you from assigning null values to your constants or variables. For the demonstration, let's modify this code only and add not null attribute. This will save us from writing the whole code again and save time. To impose not null constraint, simply write not null keyword before the keyword default or before assignment operator in case you have used it. Let me show you how. That's all you have to do. Let's execute. Here is our result. Hope this made your concept clear. With this, I'll take your leave. Please, if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on your social network and don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you soon with another PL SQL tutorial. Till then, take care. This is Manish from Rebellion Rider.